Wraithguard, Keening, and Sunder are now in my possession, and we are about to enter the very heart of Dagath Ur's er stronghold in Red Mountain. We're about to destroy the enemy and set right Mundus once again. For all the good the Tribunal have done for the people of Morrowind, it has also held us back for nearly a thousand years. Because that is when Dagoth Ur took Keening and Sunder, and our so-called gods who were to protect us have weakened to the point where Dagoth Ur now runs rampant. They couldn't defeat Dagoth Ur once this was done, as their power waned. But in all the time that they had the power to do so, around 3,000 years, they never once sought to end it because they are cowards. They craved remaining gods, and they came up with lies and excuses as to what happened to Nerevar and how they became gods. So. It is up to the Nervarine to put an end to what they could not. It is a sad ending to what could have been so much more to begin with. However, if we go back to before Nervar died and before Vivek, Amalexia, and Sothisil attained apotheosis and changed the outcome, where they destroyed the Dwemer tools and they all lived out their lives normally, then what would have happened to Morrowind in the 4,000 years since? I do not know if we would have survived the last invasion from Akavir in the Second Era. We almost lost even with the three gods defending us. So I do not know if Morrowind as it exists today would not change as well had these things happened. For all the bad that the tribunal has brought us, I dare say that they also did good and perhaps that far outweighed the bad. This is why I choose to have them venerated as powerful ancestors to go along with our current ones. Even if it means my former life was cut short, was it worth it all? Perhaps in a way it was, but now Things have changed so much that the only way forward for our people is to end it all. I will not take this power for myself, and I will not allow others to have it. So the heart of Lorcan must go. It is the only way. It may be getting late, but we're just going to have to continue to carry on. I don't want to have to, yeah, I don't want to have to recall and then return here. So, Dagoth Ur, both the place and the person, hopefully the person, are this way. Sunder, one hit, keening until the heart is gone. Sunder, one hit, keening until the heart is gone. That's all I have to do. Well, I have to defeat Dagothur. But he will just come back unless the heart is completely disconnected. I don't know what Keening is going to do, but I was told that it could destroy the heart. And a better cast levitate again. Could destroy the heart. We're going to go right into the... This is the volcano. Looks like maybe on the inside. Too bad it didn't erupt and destroy everything. I don't know if that would destroy the heart of uh, Lorcan's heart or Nagathur, who was connected to it. But it may have destroyed the Dwemer ruins and everything around it inside and out of it, and all his minions that he has in there. But then, how would I get to it if he's covered in lava? Or it, it dried, it cooled and dried, and... Hmm. He's a god. So he would probably have some means of getting out of it, but I don't know how I would dig through. I don't know, 50 feet of rock. Solid. Solid rock. Just doesn't seem like it's something that a normal person can do. When it gets dark, you can always still see. It's just it's not as... <coughs> Ash. It's not as clear as it would otherwise be. Oh. Is that a Daedroth? Yep. Daedroth, alright. Ah. Let 
make sure that you're okay. He wasn't. And nor am I. I need Magica. Hey, we're almost there. I've never been here. Not to the inside. I can't see. Oh, that's heal. And I might need it in a second. Oop. Wow. That was a long slide. I think it's one of those doorways. We have to find the, the lever. Or the, um... The wheel. There is... There it is. This is the great... Volcano. Inside the rim of the volcano. Red Mountain. Doesn't get any closer than this. No, this is not the entrance. Okay, so levitate. We have to find the means to open the door. Here it is. Ah. Okay, I've got to wait for Levitate to wear off. Nope, there it is. There it is. Ah, levitate. Ah. Ah. Levitate. Wear off, please. Uh, Julian, do you want to turn the uh, turn the crank, please? I'm kind of stuck in here. There, we made it in. Guess where we are, Julian? Mephala, this is it. This is Dagoth Ur. I can't believe it. We've come so far, and now, finally, it's time. And we even have a plan, sort of. Yeah, sort of. We're in Dagother. He's the enemy. The devil. He lives beneath Red Mountain. Yes, yes, everybody knows this. What plan do you think we have? I'll have Wraithguard, Sunder, and Keening, and I'm going to kill Dagoth Ur, then go and separate the connection of the heart, and then try to destroy the heart. And maybe if Dagoth Ur has come back in the meantime, I'll have to kill him again for one final time. So you need to use the tools to destroy the heart, and ha! Funny, really. Apart from that, it's no different from my original plan. Walk in and kill everything in sight. Ah, uh, the classic plans are still the best. <sighs> no more talk. Let's finish this. Very well. But remember, I'm not afraid to die. But that doesn't mean I'm planning on it. And if I'm not dying, you're certainly not dying either. This is no suicide mission. This is just like any other quest. We complete it, and we go home. Now, let's do this. Thank you, Jalan. Shani. This is really, really scary. But if I can help, I want to be with you. Okay. It's settled. Come, Nerevar. Friend or traitor, come. Come and look upon the heart and a Kulakan. And bring Wraithguard. I have needed it. He's needed it, huh? Which means he plans to use it. It's probably... Stay away from Corpus Beast to further extend his power and control. Stay away from Corpus Beast. We're going to do what we came for and go home safe. Just like any other mission, right? Yep. I certainly hope so. Come to the heart chamber. I wait for you there, where we last met countless ages ago. Daedra Heart? I don't need Ebony. Oh, that's right, the crosshair of St. Loth is supposed to be here. This is just an adventurer. A foolish one. I don't see how a regular person would survive. Not down here. Uh, 
kill these foul things. As soon as the heart is destroyed, I hope all of these things just are unmade. Destroyed. Unmade. Whichever. There's probably another one here, right? No. Okay, I don't know where to go. There's doors here, right? So... Let's go through the central one. Central chamber. Ah, oh, just die, you fell. Disgusting thing. Oh, okay, I'm tired. Uh, where is it? Reinvigorate. Coin. Lots of gold. Come to me through fire and war. I welcome you. Stop talking to me. It's just a little disconcerting. Those paths down probably just go down to there. Yep. Exactly as I thought. Corpus Beast. Ruby's red. This one is green, so an emerald. Yes. Created by a tortured and perverse mind. Julian, come on. You're right next to it. No, I didn't hear anyone speaking. Why? Did did you? Yes, I did. You you need to fight. Okay, so you need to fight, and just use your sword. Um, uh, melee. Just use melee. No fireballs, just hit stuff. Yep. Huh. Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place for you. Demon longbow? Okay, I could take that. It's worth something. And Shiny's been hitting you in the back, stabbing you in the back. And she stabs me in the back. Come, bring Wraith Guard to the Heart Chamber. Together, let us free the cursed false gods. <laughs> you among them. You are among them there, Dagger. It's not physically hitting me, it's casting these spells on me. It does hurt. It drains me. I know I'm stronger than this. Um... Another dead adventure. Oh, this one's really, really right. Oh. Maggots all over it. Oh, I don't even want to look at his, his weapons. That smell. Welcome, Nerevar. Together we shall speak for the law and the land and shall drive the mongrel dogs of the Empire from Morrowind. <laughs> what? He's talking to you in your head? 
Erg, that sounds bad. Whatever you do, don't listen, okay? I can't say that I won't listen. It's booming in my head. I hear it. It's done like this on purpose. Interesting. I don't think many uh, archaeologists or uh, what do you call archaeology digs from scribes or mages guild have been to Dagother, if any, because no, because Dagother would have taken over right after the dwarves disappeared. So this place would be pretty fresh, but although he is involved with smuggling, so to make money, I'm sure he's been selling a lot of. Dwemer items, artifacts, whatever they're called. Something was coming up behind me. Oh, I think I see it. Um, that's not that there is it? The shine. Julan. Get back here, you fool. Come here. You're not Dag of Ur, are you? No, I faced these things before. Oh, these things really like to sap your strength. Tired. I wish that was Dagother, it's not. Nice ring. Sell that. Okay, are you okay? Is he still talking to you? Tell that evil fetcher for me. We're coming for him, and he's going down. <sighs> Before that, let's make sure my. Yep, as I thought, my items are not in best shape. My equipment. Well, this is the demon longbow I picked up. Um, I don't think I have. I don't have any hammers on me, but you guys have a lot. Yeah, well, I'll just take this. do fine while we're here. Even Gold Brown needs some ironing out. Hammering out. Okay. <sighs> Good. Is this how you honor the sixth house and the tribe unmourned? Come to me openly and not by stealth. Another adventurer, huh? Uh, I, 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 was, I don't even want the coin. That, that smells so bad. Do I wear boots of flying? It's a little heavy. Uh, I'll be away from this corpse, though. So. Um, I am looking for the... What is it called? The Crossier of St. Lucas? They should be here somewhere. Locked. Not trapped. Ooh, lots of Dwemer coins. A Dwemer mug. You know what? I'm going to take that. I'll put it in my new home. Clean it out and drink from it. Well, unless it's been used to, like, drink blood from it or suck guts or something. I will not use it then, but then how will I know? And I don't think Dagother would care to tell me either. So this looks like where he made his own section, starting from here. Who knows what he dug out? I think that's Dagother himself. Is that Dagother? 
I thought he'd be taller. I thought I heard something. Shiny? She still says this is really scary. Welcome, Moon and Star, to this place where destiny is made. Speaking of my rings, uh, I'm not wearing them. Now I am. So he does, his uh, Ash Vampires do sort of look like him, but this is the real Dagothur, I believe. You made yourself tall. Really tall. It began here. It will end here. Have you any parting words? Or would you prefer to skip the speeches and get to our business? You are the challenger here, after all. So to you goes the courtesy of the first blow. What do you mean, parting words? <laughs> I, I never had any first words with you. Now that you have come to me here, there can be but one result. Many times I have considered offering to share this place with you. I considered offering to accept your oath of service. You might try to buy my trust by giving me Wraithguard, Keening, and Sunder. I thought we might be, again, friends, comrades, brothers in arms. But I have won this place and power by right of conquest, by right of daring and enterprise. I will not risk it to cunning and deceit. I offer you no deals. If you are my enemy, I cannot trust you. And even if you are not my enemy, I cannot let you live. It will all be decided here. I believe I will prevail, but I cannot be sure, and I am vain enough that, should I fall, I would wish to be remembered in my own words. So if you have final questions you would ask, ask them now. I have final questions I would ask of you, if you would answer. Final questions, huh? My first question is, are you really Nerevar Reborn? <laughs> I do believe by the grace of gods and fate I am Nerevar Reborn. This ring can only fit one person, and Azura gave it to me herself. That is bitter. The gods and fates are cruel. I served you faithfully once, Lord Nerevar, and you repaid me with death. I hope this time it will be you who pays for your faithlessness. My second question is, if you win, what do you plan to do with the power from the heart? Will you make yourself a god and establish a theonomy? Or will you complete El Kulikan and dispute control of Tamriel with the Septims? Or will you share the heart with your followers, as I have, and breed a new race of divine immortals? You are so twisted. I have my own secret plan for the heart. Well, perhaps there may be surprises in store for me yet. Or perhaps you obscure your plans on principle. Or perhaps you are an instinctive bluffer. No matter. My final question is, if I had offered to let you join me, would you have surrendered Wraithguard, Sunder, and Keening to me to seal your oath? No, I would never join you. Thank you for your forthright response. And now, if you have any questions, ask them. Otherwise, you are the challenger. I await your first blow. Okay, maybe I do have questions. What are your questions? What is your plan for the heart? I will continue draw to draw divine power from the heart and distribute it to my kin and followers. I will continue to broadcast divine power upon the blight winds so that it will touch each soul on Vardenfell and then, more broadly, across the waters to the rest of Morwen and Tamriel. In time, every mortal in Tamriel shall feel the liberating contact with the Divine. This is exactly what I thought you would do. What are your questions? What is your plan for the Sixth House? The Sixth House will serve as the elite cadre of our movement. As cultists evolve through various stages of enlightenment, they will become, as suits their abilities, either holy warriors or priests. Their duty is to prepare themselves for service. Their joy and liberation is to enter ever more deeply into the profound enlightenment of the divine dream world. What are your questions? What is your plan for the Dunmer? I will free the Dunmer from the imperial yoke and cast down the false gods of the temple. 
I would lead them out of their ancient superstitions and gift them with intimate knowledge of the divine. Then perhaps, when Morrowind is once again restored to its ancient glories, it will be time to consider whether the Dunmar should cultivate ambitions of empire. What are your questions? How do you justify your crimes? If by my crimes you mean the inevitable suffering and destruction caused by war, then I accept the burden of leadership. The Sixth House cannot be restored without war. Enlightenment cannot grow without the risk of upsetting the tradition-bound and complacent herd, and the mongrel armies of the Empire cannot be expelled from Morrowind without bloodshed. As I have charity and compassion, I grieve. But our mission is just and noble. What are your questions? You think it's just and noble, huh? What happened to the Dwemer? Maybe you can tell me. I have no idea what happened to the Dwemer. I have been denied the opportunity to study Wraithguard, and I am not sure how much of Kagranak's lore was invested in his tools, and how much in his own sorcery and mastery. I have long studied Kagranak, and have come to admire his wisdom and craft. Someday, after the campaigns of the Sixth House are secure, I hope to have time to dedicate to this mystery. What are your questions? Why are you building a Kulakan? A Kulakan will serve three purposes. First, it will be the champion of my armies, liberating first Vardenfell, then Morrowind, and then perhaps the rest of Tamriel. Second, it will serve as a sower and cultivator of the divine substance derived from the heart. Three, it will serve as the prominent banner and symbol of our cause, to defy the Empire, to liberate mortals from ancient superstitions, and to glorify our crusade against the gods. What are your questions? I think I'm... I'm done. I'm done talking. Defend yourself. Very well. If you are impatient to begin, go ahead. You are the challenger. To you goes the first blow. To our business then. You are the challenger after all, so to you goes the courtesy of the first blow. I'm waiting. This is going to be wait, wait. Okay, you attacked first, you lying piece of filth. Oh, I better watch my health. Now will be a time to use the potion of heroism. Fatigue. And health. He hits hard. Ugh. I haven't had to use potions in a long time, but at least I have a worthy foe. He just disappeared. Julan. Is it just me, or was that a little too easy? Something's not right here. Where did Dag out there go? I don't know. I'm badly hurt. Oh, I'm sorry, Shani. I don't have the magic at the moment. He did focus on her for a moment. I don't know why. She's hurt. I don't have the magicka yet. <sighs> we can't cannot tarry. For all I know, he's been weakened temporarily, and we have a chance to destroy the heart. Let's go into the next chamber.